This is Kim and thanks for watching Smart Fox TV. January 2023 and the new year is starting bright when it comes to entertainment for young adults and children. In movie releases, we have Dog Gone, releasing January 13th, about a beloved family dog that goes missing on the Appalachian Trail. A family goes on this desperate search to find him before his medication runs out. This Netflix film stars Rob Lowe and is based on the book Dog Gone. In book releases, we have An American Story, which came out January 3rd. This is an award-winning author who has a picture book all about the American story. The Kindest Red. This one comes out January 10th and is a story about kindness, friendship, and family. On January 10th also is Very Good Hats. This is a picture book of adorable and funny read-aloud hats. Just Like Grandma comes out January 24th. This is a super sweet intergenerational picture book centering on the indigenous grandmother and granddaughter. Next up is January 24th is Stanley's Secret. Stanley dreams of tap dancing in front of an audience, but he's too shy to tell anyone about his dream beyond his two pet mice. Nell plants a tree January 31st, another gorgeous intergenerational picture book on childhood experience in growing pecan trees. For the middle grades, January 10th, we have We Are Your Children Too. This is a nonfiction middle grade tells the story of how Prince Edward County, Virginia became the only place in the United States to eliminate all public education after the passing of Brown versus Board of Education. Figure It Out, out January 17th, about a seventh grader, Henrietta Weldon. Henry attends a private school to get more one-on-one -on -one tutoring for her disability and her mom starting her PhD program. The family is strapped for cash. It's an overwhelming situation for the whole family, but they do find balance, friendship, and passion. The Lost Year comes out January 17th. The novel entwines two timelines. In the present, 13-year-old Matthew begrudgingly moves in with his 100-year-old great-grandmother to ride out the COVID-19 pandemic while his journalist father works in France. Hands out January 24th about a 12-year-old Trevor, a talented artist. And Princess of the Wild Sea out January 24th, a fantasy retelling of Sleeping Beauty. January also offers some new releases for your younger sibling, such as Beaky Barnes, Egg on the Loose, a graphic novel. Highly suspicious, and unfairly cute. The Love Match, Rhinos at Recess, Sincerely Sicily, Basketball Dreams, The Green Piano, What Happened to Rachel Riley, and You Are My Pride, A Love Letter from Your Motherland. That's all for January's book and movie releases. Have a wonderful Smart Fox Day. Welcome to our good news. Earlier last month, an Australian family received a special gift of a miracle. Father Daniel Rutledge discovered a brain tumor in July and later fell into a coma after a stroke from surgery. His wife and three kids moved to be closer to him and were told by the hospital to come to say their goodbyes. To everyone's surprise, Daniel woke up in December and began walking and talking again. His neurosurgeon called him a medical miracle and he was discharged in time to enjoy Christmas Day with his family. With a lot of support, Daniel is hopeful that he'll recover enough to be able to do all the things he used to enjoy, including golfing. Gasoline? Move over, because New Holland has come up with a brand new tractor that runs on cow dung. That's right, cow poop can now run a tractor for farmers because the methane gas in it can produce fuel. UK-based biomethane production company Benamin ran a pilot program where liquidized methane was stored and used by the vehicle, and it ended up saving the farm about 2,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions. The company is looking to stretch the technology towards other types of vehicles besides a tractor. We hope you enjoyed today's good news. This is Kim. Hi, this is Sally. Hello, this is Tracy. This is Shane. And thanks for watching Smart Fox TV. Stay, Stay foxy. foxy.